So, you know, I have what I call, you know, eight simple truths of my life or eight successful habits that I've seen with people all around the world that I've interacted with. Um, and I've been blessed to travel globally um, and, and see many people, many different, many cultures and do businesses all around the world. And I've always tried to learn when I'm in new, around new people, watch, monitor, and pick up the good habits and, and catch the bad habits and understand, okay, these are the things I'm going to do. These are the things I'm not going to do. But really just, you know, really quick, some eight simple habits that I picked up and I've learned from mentors or I've, I've, I've learned from or monitored from colleagues is, 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 is what really kept me focused and allowed me to get to the point where I am. Um, so the first simple habit that I had was, was, was called um, the no matter what attitude, really. So for me, one, it was no matter what. So regardless of what's going on around me, it didn't really matter. So I just had to accept responsibility for what was going on and I just had to move forward. And I had to keep that focus. Like I have power over where I focus and it's my choice to make. So from that standpoint, what I'm trying to say is you're always in a driver's seat when it comes to your career and kind of when it comes to your life. Uh, one of the ones that I, and then another one I got on the sales side, I, I picked up this and then some attitude. And, and then some meaning, you know, you do what you need to do, but you have this mentality that you will execute what is expected of you and then do some more. So, and then some. So what I found myself in a situation where having this mentality, it put me in situations where I felt I was alone. But what it did was gave me more opportunity for success. So, you know, doing the and then some, that extra, you know, follow up with the customer, or maybe you run experiments a little extra longer, or you're, you're touching base with, you know, your executive and having a little extra time with the executive, you'll find yourself at times going, doing this extra mile and you're wondering why am I, on, I am the only one doing this in the organization. But honestly, what it would do, it will set you up and that's where you're gonna actually find real success. And then I had, you know, uh, a, a mentality is, you know what, my, my, one of my bosses, first boss, second boss, he had this just consider it done attitude. Those three simple words, just consider it done. I mean, it's very strong. It makes you dependable, it's commitment, and it gives you confidence. So successful people always have an abundance of this mentality, right? You follow through on your commitments and you uh -huh. never do anything halfway. And customers are always looking for consistency, all right? And then above all else, so above all else, meaning that you're not going to be complacent you're not, and you're not going to settle for mediocrity. So for people who are very successful, you know, they beat mediocrity. So complacency is actually far greater than failure. So meaning pushing things off, pushing things off is worse than just not trying to get it done and failing. So try not, focus on not being complacent and going for mediocrity because of fear. Go forth, do the job, get it done. If you fail, you learn for it, learn from it. If you don't, if you do uh, do well, then you also learn from it and learn how to duplicate that. And then from now on, so again, when those opportunities are that you, you failed, there are, there's, there's things that you can learn from that. And from now on, you learn from that and you move past it and you move forward. And one of the things I've, I found out when working around and working with these people who had this from now on, hey, you know, this kind of uh, Justin Timberlake kind of thing, you know, don't, don't, don't cry a river, you know, build a bridge and get over it kind of mentality, right? You know, don't make, successful people does not, do, not make, uh, do not make excuses. So that's kind of my, my, my mantra that I always say to my sales guys, don't cry a river, build a bridge, get over it, let's move on. And then challenge yourself. And, and it comes down to setting SMART goals. And I'm not sure if you're familiar with this acronym, but SMART stands for S is for specific, M measurable, A attainable, R realistic, and T timely. Always try to set these SMART goals for yourself in your life. See what you want to accomplish. Feel the results of the accomplishment of the actions. Trust that everything that you're doing is right and then implement the plan. And then finally, focus in your boat. It's sometimes you can't control things else around you. So you have to be able to control what you control and don't crave and desire to control other situations that are outside of your control. 
what it will do is just, again, it will make you medi give you a mediocrity, a mediocre behavior. It'll make you complacent. You won't get things done because you're looking at what everybody else is doing versus staying focused on what you need it done and, and taking care of your own business. So try and focus in your boat and handle what you can handle, handle what's your responsibility and get that done before being worried about what's going on outside. And the last one, I'm sorry, the last one here is knowledge is power. And as researchers, as professionals, as edu you know, professional um, students, as you are, when you get to your master's and PhDs, you get this professional student kind of thing, but never forget that knowledge is power. So continuous learning is always gonna give you the best chance for success. So continue to learn, continue to read, continue to study, keep, continue to keep yourself sharp. sharp. The more you learn, guys, is the more you, more you guys are going to earn. All right. So those are really those, you know, eight successful habits that I've learned. Again, so my challenge to you is to have these eight habits, right? No matter what, and then some, consider it done. Above all else, from now on, focus in your boat and knowledge is power. So those are the eight successful habits I can give for you guys to, to, to remember. Um, I have it in a, in a, in a short you know, PowerPoint that I use for my, my team, for my executive team, and for my sales managers and leaders in the organization. So if that is something that you want to have, I can easily send you guys an email. But again, uh, congratulations to you all. The future is bright for you guys. You are the future of, of where life sciences and biotech and where this, this world will go. So my thumbs up to you all. And uh, have a great day and enjoy the rest of your week and your weekend and stay safe and stay healthy.